about Yud Beis and Rav. We're talking about. Uh, uh, should try and get him. Bernie Newman. Bernie Shalmi. Let's try to see his son. All right. We are talking about Kavachomers, which and you can sit down with us for a few minutes. We won't kick you out. <laughs> I, I want to, we are now back on tape, and we are to, we are talking about Kavachomers' agenda backfiring. That's where Rabbanon don't make them. Rabbanon does, and Rabbanon don't. And we're to, the we're, the one we treat. We made yesterday is that Rabban and Rabbeinu says if by no sar you have to burn it, so Kavachom by Chometz you have to burn it because um, no sar is more so pigel uh, uh, pigel and no pigel and no sar. By pigel no sar you have to burn Kavachom by Chometz Chometz is more severe. So therefore says the Gemara. No, Rabban had said it's a nice kavachom, but you don't want to make it because then it backfires on you. Because you make such a kavachom here, so then you're going to end up if you have no firewood, you're not going to burn chametz, you're not going to destroy it at all. So it's better in order to get chametz eradicated. The principle we should say is that no matter what way you can eradicate it, go ahead and eradicate it. So that's what we say. So now we're going to do similar things. Kayetzibo, we are three, six, nine lines down. Kayetzibo, I'm Rabbi Similarly, Rabbi Yudha said, "A a a a woman who uh, who who, who uh, has a uh, has a relay, who uh, gives birth to a male. Why why does it say uh, uh, um, 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 zohar? I'm not sure why the word zohar is extra, but for some other reasons, the word zohar is extra. Mata, why does it zohar?" I must say Zohar twice, but I can't think of it offhand. But anyway, why does it say the word Zohar? It says, 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 I see that a kid who comes out alive, meaning that he has the potential to have a bris meal on the eighth day, that Metame uh, Simo two months later. He's Metame's mother two months later. However, I don't know if a kid is stillborn that there's two months later for the mother. I don't know even that case. So that's why it says Zohar. Okay? Now, Rabbi don't want to learn how to say the word Kavachomer. I'm Rabbi, I need to, and I really don't. Let me make Kavachomer. If when the kid comes out alive, he doesn't make his mother. Oh. Shalom Aleichem. Long time no see. You know, I saw you twice today already, but this is a special. This is not a bata, not just a reel. <laughs> okay. So, so we're on that. You'd base him enough. You'd base him enough. Okay. So, um, so, so, so the, uh, so if uh, if a kid, the kid comes out alive, Shane Matame Simo, he doesn't make his mother Tommy, Bessa Boy Nimo, nor the uh, children who are born with him if it's twins. Let me explain a minute. Bessa Boy Mimo, nor anybody else who comes with his mother, Litame Lo Ohel, Tuma Shiva. There's no Tuma Ohel because he's alive, right? Nevertheless, but time is even two months later. Nevertheless, he makes his mother Tommy two months later. The later for giving the tomb for becoming born. Hayyitzi meis. If a kid comes out dead, Shumatami Simo, he's Matami his mother, Vesaboy Mimo and his twin, Vesaboy Mimo and any midwife or anybody else who's in the tent, Tumas Shiva, for seven days of Tumas Mays, and Odin Shitami Stuma Imo Tumas Leda, is not a Kavachomi that makes his mother Tommy Tumas Leda, Tumas Birth, so it's a Kavachomi. He says, I learned from Kavachomi. If a live child is Matami the mother, certainly a stillborn child is Matami the mother. Kavachomi. Says Mar, no, I don't like this kavachomer. Amr lo le Rabbi Yehuda. They said to Rabbi Yehuda, no. Called in any kavachomer. Shetchilos la totol achmir. 
you start off being by making a chumra, right? You say if a, you say if a live child is metami to two months later, kava chomer. A dead child is metami to two months later, and that's that's a kava chomer. You're learning out of chumra, but in the end, it's so full of hakel, it's going to end up being a kula. Ain't no thing that's like can't be kava chomer. What's going to be the kula if you make such a kava chomer? I was going to say, I'm tier chai, follows that if I'm tier chai simo, yes, for seven days there's tuma, but for 33 days there you made taro. And if you're going to learn out a kava chomer, then you're going to have the properties from a, of a dead child from a live, live child, a stillbirth from a live birth, so you also have to learn out the property that the mother is tar for 33 days after the seven days. And that's not true. The Meitara only will relate to a live child, not to a stillbirth. Okay? Yitara afa mesis imo. And that's, that, that doesn't work. Imo amo imlo zochis miadin. So therefore, I can't make kavachomer because of the implication, which would be far too great a kula. Vichachomer tarazotara zochar. It's like Tarazot says, it said zochar, the rabbis is a mace to include a dead child, a stillborn child, in this principle that we have, that is, that uh, they have two months later. Kayetzibo, similar kind of chomer to reject. Amar Rabbi Yehuda, Rabbi Yehuda said, "But Sukkos teishvu shiva a teishvu." Said it's in Sukkos. Sukkos should call dorm. You can make it the sukkah of anything, meaning even let's say cactus plants. Shayor Rabbi Yehuda Omer, because Rabbi Yehuda said, um, uh, Rabbi Yehuda said, "Hadino said I could make a kind of chomer shlote sukkah boil a mer boss meaning." The sukkah shall only come from the four species which you can lose for lulav. Why? Because my lulav, sheno no egg, sheno no egg, yes. Sheno no egg, yes. Sheno no egg, yes. Sheno no egg, yes. Lulav, you don't have it at night. You have it during the day, but not at night. Right? Ain't no boil, me abbas, me nonetheless, it'll only come from the four species. Sukkah, she no egg, yes. But I look at you, a sukkah which comes out at night, even more than in days, it's much more chomer. It's much more severe. It's literally only come for the four meaning. It's a very strange Kabachome, right? So they refute the Kabachome, though, not on the grounds of its strangeness, but rather on the legalistic grounds we've laid the groundwork for, which is they said to him, no, I can't make such kavachomer. I'm the rabbi that called in shatod and tchilas ulachmir. Any kavachomer start up being a chumra, meaning that you need to have a sukkah from Arba Samini, but ends up being a kula. The sovel hakel ain't no din. It can't be kavachomer. What be the end of the kav? What be the end of kavachomer? Which you're making a kula. Hey, hey, hello, matzah by Arba Samini. If you don't find enough, you don't find enough. Um, a rubber wood or a dasa wood, then you're not going to be able to make a sukkah. You should have a sukkah. To do that a sukkah. I've learned my third third said, Taste your sukkah. Seems like the Torah is trying to uh, expand the mitzvah sukkah, not limit it. So therefore, we say sukkah shall call davar, the sukkah of anything. The chayin as roema, and as the said of Asher Shmim, we have here called Bukhar Reim, Yushalayim, like more. They should say, put out the, the call, uh, the voice, and all the seas, Yushalayim, they have a shtsuar of a goma, they should go out to, to the mountains and collect all sorts of branches in order to make sukkahs. That's the end of the passage, which is not quoted here. So the bottom line is, the says they're really interesting. They're saying that there's a special bit to a you can't make a kava chomer, which is an end, or end, up, end up curtailing the extent of the mitzvah, or making some undu kula, such as by by a beer chomet. You make kava chomer, say by no superior yet, but certainly by chomet, so you end up people who can't burn it are not going to do beer chomet. By sukkah, you make kava chomer, say it has to be for harvest and medium. There are people who end up not making sukkah. So therefore, you cannot make a kava chomer where an implication of kava chomer will be a limitation of the he- pa- possibility of fulfilling the mitzvah. Okay? That's what we're learning here. Fine. It says Mar Khaz Rabbi Vadono Dinakir. Rabbi he never gave up. He tried to make a call the Kava Khomer. Khamit's Asabakhil of no so asabakhil. Khamit are forbidden to eat and no so forbidden to eat. It's not a din actually, it's a mamatino, it's a hackage, it's a parallel. Chomet is Osir, and so to Nosir is Osir. Ma matzma zebis zebis reifa, av zebis reifa. You burn Nosir, you should burn Chomet. 
Amr lo they said no. The veil to chiyach. The veil proves you wrong. She has sura b'achil and the veil not allowed to eat. For I ain't a b'sreva yet. You do not burn it. Amr lo so they said. He said okay. What about taking more qualities? Chame tos b'achila uva noya. He is forbidden to eat and derive benefit. Nois or oser b'achil uva noya. Nois is also oser to eat and derive benefit. Where there's no prohibition of deriving benefit. So I'll learn out from Chaimitz from Noser. Say that anything is Oser, Bachilo, and Bano, you have to burn. Amalo, they said, not true. What about an ox which is to be stoned for having killed a human being? Shuasa Bachilo, it's forbidden to eat, and forbidden to derive benefit. Famous chef, you do not burn it. What do you do with it? You bury it. You stone it and then you bury it. Okay? So stone and bury it. So, so we see that not everything which has Osir Bachil, Osir Binti, and Osir Bano, you have to burn. So our beauty's proof is out the window. Right? Says the Gemara. Um, the, um, let's see, try it again. He's stubborn guy, Rabbi. He don't give up so easy. Um, he said, to eat, and to benefit. of course. If you eat, you get chorus. But noisir also bachil v'anoi v'chayiv v'kor. It's also chorus. Achil shoranisko, which is not like that. She ain't chayiv v'lo chorus. You eat a shoranisko, you don't get chorus. You transgress a lot. Who boy will flog you? So you're black and blue, but you don't get chorus for it. No comparison, right? Says the Gemara, they the Chachamim were just as stubborn. I'm really worried about the Chelav Shoranisko, the forbidden fats of a Shoranisko. We're not coming in there. The Ochiach Shoras of Achilat Tzos to eat Uva Noya and the right benefit. The Chayav in low cards and get cards. Ben of its rayful. It's rayful. Harmless and so Rabbi Yehuda doesn't give up. He says still Chameit Aser Bachilo. Now to eat uvanoid or a benefit, of course, and of course, the Eshlo's mind it becomes also only after a certain time. After Ere Pesach, right? So to Noisa, Osir Bachila, Uvanoya, Khil of course, the Eshlo's mind, it also comes also after a certain time. As the post to Ayochia Khil of Sharanisko, as opposed to Khil of Sharanisko, which is, doesn't have a time when it becomes also, has an event when it becomes also. It's less Homer. What is the event which makes it usher? Judgment. My din. It's not inevitable. Right? As mine is inevitable, or judgment is not. So it could be that Nosar and Peyton, Nosar and Chomets are more stringent than than Shoranis. Okay? Amrlo, they said, still, I have a riot against you. Oshem Toli Lishitoscha Yochiach. Rashim totally according to you. Rashim totally means you had an Asham which um, which had a psul. Um, what was the psul exactly? Doesn't matter. You got Asham totally which became possible. She does the issue. She also about chila v'anoya. It's also to eat and to the right benefit. Chilevo kares and he adds chayev kares. Vayna b'sreifo. But here's the critical point. Even Rabbi Yehuda concedes you don't have to burn it. You bury it. The Hashem told you don't burn because that looks. I guess it looks like you're being mocked of it if you burn it. So therefore, what do you do instead? You bury it. So we see that you, even according to you, the things which have all these traits yet they are buried and not burnt. Shasak Rabbi Huda, that boy Rabbi was silent. Taka, his riot that you burn it as a memotzino from parallel from other cases is undermined by virtue of the fact that he himself concedes that you do not burn Rashi Toli, which became possible. Okay? Says what Tani we learned. Actually, Gizman Biur Kornar Bona before the time Biur comes, At Mevaro Becholdom. Actually, this is Rabbi Huda. Sorry. And he says, before this money becomes a variable dover, then you can be a variety you want. Because it's not yet the mitzvah. Mishikiyaz Mambiu, once the mitzvah comes, let's assume for our purposes in the afternoon of the 14th day, then I'm a variable you must burn it because that's when the mitzvah kicks in. That's a Krabi, that's a Krabi Yudah. 
It's tight tight. The Lama learned the exact opposite, like Rabbana. Actually, he has Rabbiu at Mevar Chobi Shreifa. Even Rabbana agreed Rabbiu had better before had to be Mevar B'Shreifa. I don't know because it's a mitzvah to be Mevar B'Shreifa, or they hold that at least it's uh, it's more effective being Mevar B'Shreifa. But they will be for the time to, to eat the for the time this comes. Then it's better to be Mevar B'Shreifa. Better to burn it. However, Mishik, here's my beer. What's the time beer comes? I'm a bar of use anything. You don't wait to get fire. Fast to grab butter, and that's a grab butter. Rebbe Oimel, Tashmisu, Sami Batechem. Rebbe says you have to burn it. Like Rebbe Yuda. It says eradicate the sword from your house. Darvish should buy raw by Motte so that you do not transgress by raw by Motte. What gets you out of doing by raw mutzi, by mutzi, with there no longer any chametz to be found in your possession? It's right. So that's how he learns how they have to burn. What? Tashbisu sreifa because it has to be in a way which bali mutzi. It's only to get it out of the world. Rabbi Yirmi Abayi, Rabbi Yirmi asks a cool question. Petah chamor shemis. You have a firstborn donkey which killed somebody. What's the status of the firstborn donkey? Who remembers? Nothing to do with it. What do you do with the firstborn donkey? If it doesn't, doesn't kill somebody. You give it to the Kohen? You just made up a puzzle. That's okay. U Peter Hamo Tiv Deb is saving low Tiv Deva Araf toy. You redeem a demon Peter Hamor with a set. I don't even think the Sego, the Sego, I think, does go to the Kohen. The Sego is the Kohen as Chulin. But you don't give the Kohen the Chamor. You give him the Seb for which you redeem it. When you look if there, what do you do? Baravto. What does Baravto mean? Break its neck, ring its neck, uh, slice its neck open from the back. So you have a Petah Chamor Shemi. It's the firstborn donkey who killed somebody. What do you do with it? Bambay Misoso. How do you kill it? Barefa or Biskila? Do you wring its neck like a bechor, or do you stone it like an animal which killed? Good question, right? Halachalamais. Says my Rabbi Yehuda ben Bar Levi Shaul. Rabbi Yehuda ben Levi asks a similar question. Chalos todosh nasu noisar. This is why it's brought down in our mitzvah because of the similarity of the next question, which is based on chalos todosh nasu noisar. You have chalos todosh, which became noisar, and it's Pesach is coming. What do you do with them? So noisar, what do you do? You burn. But according to Rabbanu, what do you do with Bukhamates? You can eradicate any way you want. So, Nema, Imnasu, so what do we do? Nema, let's say like this. Imnasu, Nosar. If they became Nosar, Chloegi is Mambiura. Before this man of beer came, at Mevara, then, then you, that time, you do the beer, and here's the typo, it should be Bisrefo. The, the carbonator reverses everything. The Mevara, Bisrefo. Why? Because what's the mitzvah to do? No, sir. Burn it. You say, you had a mitzvah of beer chametz? No. So if you have time, burn it. Mishigir's man beer, what's the time of beer chametz comes? A mevar run. A mevar at mevar mechol dovar. You can can so switch to beer, sir. You can eradicate it with any means you want. Because like Rabbana, now the, 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 the more pressing and urgent mitzvah is to get rid of chametz. And when it's urgent to press to get rid of Chomet, say Rabbanan, the best thing to do is just get rid of it ASAP in whatever mode you can. So at that point, you'll do the same thing to the Chalos total which are left over. Okay? Says Mishnah first, Chomet shall akum, Chomet of a goy, Shavu lava Pesach, over which Pesach is passed, Mutar Bano, since it wasn't the Jews over Pesach. Mishay saw of a Jew, Pesach passed over Jews, Chomet, Osebano, it's Osebano afterwards. Shnemar, Loyerelacha, should not be seen by you. And it was, so it's also. Akum Shehilva, as he saw El Chemtso, if a guy lent money to a Jew and took the Chemtso's collateral, Lachar Pesach, Mutabano, then after Pesach, the Jews allowed to have benefit collateral. Again, we said it, in this case, assume that the collateral was 
under the jurisdiction and reign of the Goy, right? If a Jew gave a loan to a Goy on the basis of his Chomets, and after Pesach, it's forbidden to arrive on Noah from that. Why is that? What? Right. It's in the Jews' possession. Chomets uh, level of Pomapolis. If a chametz and avalanche fall on it, hareu kumivur it's considered to be as if it's a rack a raid. Don't have to actually send workmen in to check out the avalanche. Shigal mi omer kol shein akev yol chabis achra. As long as it's deep down low enough that a dog cannot find it. Okay, so far so good. Says the Gemara. Rabbi Achila also. It sounds that av chametz shulish of a goy which passed over Pesach. It's mutabano, but not baachila. It just says mutar ba'no. It doesn't say mutar ba'achilo. Why not? It says more mastisa b'makom shlon agul lochol pasak. Our mission is to about a case where the minhag is not eat pasak. However, a makom shlon agul lochol pasakum, place where people eat pasakum, bread of goyim, apilu mutar apilu ba'achilo. Then of course we're even allowed to eat it. Is it apilu a form of hanor? What? So you're allowed to have a no. It's chametz of a goy. The first line in the mission. Chametz shal gushal akushal v'lo pesa mutar ba no. So shy wise only a no and achila. So say ain't a chlam. You could be achila too. On the right circumstances, where people eat pasach. Okay. The soga pesach mal. Now within pesach, can you have a no from the chametz of a goy? Not your own. Rabbi Yirmiyamar Mutar Rabbi Yosi also Amar also. Rabbi Yosi says okay. Rabbi Yosi says it's not okay. Hey, so Rabbi Yosi, Rabbi Yosi says it's not okay. Ask, but I didn't say lo yaskir Yisrael's ben to laakum lo avi ale chometz. You're not allowed to rent out your your donkey to a guy that he should bring chometz on it. So we see you're not allowed to derive any benefit on Pesach from chometz. Period. Right? Says the Gemara. Pass a little bit by emo. Let's talk about when you're accompanying your donkey after you rent it out. So the carbonator says that the problem is that um, that it looks like you're dealing with Chomet so it's just because of my sign the carb- that's the the Chomet Moshe says that the problem is actually that you might come to get involved in Chomet which the guy is carrying but I don't think that that's the case because I mean obviously there are plenty of cases where the Chomet's around and we don't succumb to temptation and then the more more more, more immediate temptation here is that uh, if you come with him, so you're going to go, it's not a temptation, you're going to deal with the chametz with him, and then you might not even deal with it, but it looks like you deal with him, and that's my sign. Okay, problem, my sign. People see and say, oh, it must be okay to have the, the dealings with chametz, and therefore, even though it's really the guys, you're not allowed to participate with him. Ask, the, ask more about Tani. Uh, didn't we learn, Lo Yaskir Yisrael Sfinosu Akul Avila Chomets, Brazil to rent his boat to a guy. Bring chametz? Why not? So Pasul has same idea. Imo. It's when you're going with him on the boat on Shabbos. Ah, it says Gemara. Well, Tai didn't we learn Lo Yaski Yisrael's base will accumulate its ochol chametz, right? But so chametz, a person cannot give his chametz. A uh, cannot or Jew cannot rent out his house to a guy to put chametz in it. Now, here it's clear not talking about where you're living with the guy. Right? Why not? So here the Shah says, because it's hard to live with a guy. Because of Sakona. So you're not living with a guy. So nevertheless, it seems that you transgress. Why? You don't own it. So why, even if you're dying with him, even if you live with him, you shouldn't transgress anything because you don't own the Chomet, right? So you live with him. Big deal. Why does that make you transgress the Chomet? Why does that answer? Okay? Now, says more very interesting halachas. Three very important halachas, one after the other. Gago shel akum, the roof of a non-Jew's house. She has samach legago shel yisrael, which is next to the roof of a Jew's house. This gago chametz be gago shel akum, and the chametz rolled from the house of the goy legago shel yisrael to the house to, to the roof of the Jew. Harei zed dorch vo bekone. Can you touch the chametz? Got to push it with a stick. Did you ever hear that before? Chomet that basically can't actually move directly. That's what comes out from here. 
amazing concept. I don't understand. I mean, I, I didn't make a major search in the post game, but it's not where the Ain Mishpat has it here. So it comes out, you're not allowed to touch it. Even a Cholmoid. No, even a Cholmoid. Look, because look. Because if you're touching with your hand, it's like an Akira. So what? So it's like you're taking possession of it. You have to pick it up three times in order to take possession. What? <laughs> but it, it comes out very... If that's true, I, again, I didn't look it up, uh, well, you know, in any detail, but... I can ask Ellie Ginsburg, but... Uh, I don't know. It's a very big chiddush if this is true. In my Shabbos Yontif, see it's soy about Cholmoy. Says with Shabbos Yontif, then Rava Mar Kotelu Asakli. Then Rav says that of course you can't even push it because it's really muktzah, bona fide muktzah. In that case, you have to be Kotelu Asakli. You have to put something over it. Okay, the next Gemara, the reason I'm stalling is because the next Gemara is going to make me embarrassed. Says Gemara. I think I'm kidding. Says Gemara. Rav Amar. Tzorech loimar kol chomet sheyesh li besoch beisi veheni yodei abo yibotel. Here it is. Yushami brings down bitu chomet. Explicit. It worked. We've been clearing for those of you who just joined us tonight. We've been to, we have not been sure, or rather, I have cast aspersions of whether you shall be able to bitu chomets. I have to assume that it's only bidikas chomets that hold of not bitu chomets. But here it is explicitly, you shall be does hold a beer chomet, a bitu chomets. Okay? What can I do? Says more further. Now, Ravamar. Sorich loimar, you have to say, Asher koch Asher kasher mitzvah b'tzibon al biur chametz. That's the mitzvah. The the, the bracha say al biur chametz, not al b'dikas chametz, al biur chametz. What? Oh, I'm sorry, mitzvah biur. I missed her. We don't know that we say al biur chametz, right? I don't know. So you're right. Glossed over. Okay. Now. Uh, Ra- Rav said also, Rav Amar Atoch Beisol Chometz. It's like a mitzvah filling. I don't know if we have any other bracha like that either. Because usually we use the verb. And here we have in the Lord Niach Tefillin. Leishe Basuka. But here, what verb are you going to use? Since it's, it's, it's not, since you're, he goofed, since Rav holds you, you're into the Bittu. What did I say? Shek Hashem and Sofet Tivonu are a Bittu? It's not good enough. Because Bittu is not a Maisi. You have to mention an act. So there's no act you mention, so that's why you say a Mitzvah Spiur. That must be the Pshat. There's no specific act you can ascribe to being the beer, particularly according to Rabbonne. According to Rabbonne, it the burning, but there's no burning according to Rabbonne. Okay? It says more further. Rav Amar, Hatach Beis O'Chomets, if you, if you, I don't know how this works, but if you, um, you, you plaster your, your house with Chomets, I guess this Chomets mixed into the plaster which you used on your walls. Tzarek Levar, you have to peel off your plaster. And the Rishonim being here, yeah, that's why you have to scrape your, clean your chairs well, and all sorts of other things, if they have chametz worked into the paint. Because you see, it's, if it's all considered edible, you're, you're catching a virus. Says, says Omar, it's a kasha, wait a minute. Tani Omar Rishonim made a lozer, batik so kufas, we made your dough. Into a, a cushion bottle, so it's bottle of itself. You don't have to, uh, you don't have to eradicate it. So it says we're well, a puzzle. There are two, one or two answers. 
You're saying either Ocha looking out of Shimon and Lazar, either Rabban arguing with Shimon and Lazar, and all that even the the dough made out of the the the, the kufas, the the the, um, the stool made out of the botzik is tame is uh, has to be eradicated, or he might say that Oh, uh, I ain't kufas moisu. It once becomes like a cushion or, or a um, a stool. I'm looking for a better word than stool. What? A booth? It's a. Uh, it's a. Uh, I want to say the word ottoman. I guess is the closest thing. No, it's what? Not an Ottoman Empire. An Ottoman you sit on. It's a cushion. Right, it's a cushion. A footstool. So once you made it a footstool, it's it's it, it's different because oh, it ain't kufas moist. It's repugnant. The walls are also not repugnant. You peel off the walls and eat them. Right? Yeah, gingerbread. So, but the, uh, the, um, the, uh, to, to use a, to use chametz, which is already made into, uh, into a cushion, now you're not going to do so, you don't have to eradicate it. Okay, which is basically the concept of Roy Lachilis Kaf and Roy Lachilis Kaf. Okay, now, the next thing you show me is a major, major chiddush. Ready? It's not chiddush for us, but it's not in the Bafli. Yisrael Ba'akam Shri Boim Bisfino. If a Jew and a guy were coming on a boat, the chametz be at Israel, and the chametz is in the hands of a Jew. Here it is. Here it is. Mechir is chametz. Okay. So all you show me. Ah, what greater uh, sustain, sustaining value can you show me than to base all mechir is chametz on you show me? Now that it goes into greater detail here. Okay. Ashuba if a chametz at Israel. I raise the morgue lack and you can sell it to the guy. Oh no, so much when you give it to him as a gift. The choice of local men are after Pesach, you buy it back after Pesach. If you give it to him as a real gift, you have to give it as a real gift. Right? I know the Israel Akum. So why do you do that? Even in a sale. The Israel says to the guy, it's so funny. Actually, okay, I'm going to Instead of coming and buying for a hundred dollars, Kachla Masain. Um, yeah, instead of coming, what it means is it's, it's all one long sentence. All right, I, I, the coordinator changed the gear, so I didn't. I forgot to look at it in greater detail. It says instead of go buying for a hundred dollars, buy for two hundred dollars. Meaning, instead of me able to make a hundred dollars off a deal, I'll give you a deal which you can make two hundred dollars off of. How so? Because actually, the lokeach me b'chami yaku said by the chametz from a guy, chametz which you need anyway. Bo kachav Yisrael, buy and come and buy it from a Jew. Shem it's dark because maybe I'll need to buy it back. Ve'ekach me b'chach ha'pesach, and I'll buy it back for you after Pesach for more money than he would realize elsewhere. So you can hint to the guy. Basically, what the Yisrael is saying is, you're hinting to him. I'll make it worth your while. If you buy my chametz now, I'm going to buy it back from you later. You can't say explicitly, because that will make the whole joke a wholesale joke. But you can hint and that's going to be highly worth his while it's right now because of current returns. He'll now pay him on and get back on the sign. Okay? I'm asking about his chaver. Somebody rents a house to his friend. Actually, according to Socha, I'm asking before the tenant enters the house, it's I'm sorry, actually, Chris. Sorry. Actually, because of the Soho, before the tenant enters, Hamas gets Sarah The landlord has to check the house. Mishi, because of the Soho, if the tenant enters, Hasoha Sarah the tenant's got to check, they eradicate the Chomet. All right, Mishim, Mishim, it said, Amosai, when is it true that if the tenant has not yet entered, he doesn't have to clean out the house? It's much a muscle, uh, uh, it's a little bit choppy. I'm learning like Mashbiach. The Amosai should re- maybe we should really change the gear score in Mashbiach, but I'll, I'll work it in this way. Amosai is much a muscle mafteach. When is there a tzad that the 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 fellow 
who is renting the tenant he has to check chametz even though he hasn't yet moved in. There is such a time. When is that? When you got the key. Because the key is handed out to the key. Now it's not Shaloma Salos Mateh, where the tenant has not yet gotten a key and has not yet moved in, then he doesn't have to check. Okay? I'm maybe the bad Pazi, I read a Pazi said, boy, they asked the Shiloh, Master Sam Mateh, if somebody gave a key, is that considered to be a key or not? Where I'm shipping, obviously it is. The moment you get the key, you're Chayav and Bior, because now it's your apartment. So the question is, how, at the, 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 where he just citing a parallel machlokas, we have a similar issue. But there are others who learn differently. Like the, the Mecha Mayim says, here we're talking about a case, Muslim Mavtech has not been the, caught in the, in the pro- process of a Kenyan, or even a Sirius, it's talking about, I am the owner of the house, and I left you, my son, the keys, and said, go do Badika, can I rely on you or not? Okay? So in any event, so most of the I'm Rabbi Zchaya, Chassayid Rabbi Levi, Rabbi Zchaya, the Chassayid Rabbi Levi said, Machlokas Rabbi Shem Chachomim, this is the same to Machlokas Rabbi Shem Chachomim. The answer I learned over there, somebody at the Amoyser based on the Mavtech Amoritz, somebody leaves his house with, with an Amoritz. Guess what he is? The person who gave over the key. No, he's a fool. But what do you have in the house, obviously? Stuff which is torn. So he gave the key to the Amoritz. And then, to Abayis Tor, Shlomos Elah Shmir Smavtech. That a comment says, I only gave him the key to watch. I didn't tell him he's allowed to enter. So with Tarakamas, which he told so earlier, he holds that giving the key is not what determines, but rather giving the person entree, right, to access, to, to access right? Whereas, uh, we, are, we have here a Machlokas, here it says, Rabbi Shimon Metame. Rabbi Shimon Metame, Rabbi Shimon is consistent, because just like Rabbi Shimon said previously, if I, the, the tenant already has the key, he's got the check. So here Rabbi Shimon is saying, that if the Amorites has got the key, he assumes that he has mastery, and therefore, you have to go, and you have to actually assume that he was Metame, he did enter, he didn't stay out like he was supposed to. Okay? Says more further. Akum Shaboy Tzil Yisrael. If a guy comes by Jews, Uviyah the Chomit Tzil Yad the Chomit, Eino Tzorik Levar. Then, I, I, the Yisrael who owns the house, don't have to eradicate the Chomit. It's in his hands, it's his problem, not mine. And he's a guy, so he has no problem. At Lobier, I skipped, sorry. Uh, if he did so, however, the guy left it as safekeeping by him. So I have that he's got to get rid of it somehow, right? Um, if he does a specific place in house, which is considered to be the guys where he keeps his chomit, and not tzorich, levar, then you know, then you can, then you can assume that it's like that area, so right there, you don't have to do beer chomit on the stuff in that area. Low beer. What if he didn't do beer chomit? Um, properly. Lachar Pesach, Ma, what's the status after? Well, it's talking about, so in this case, you didn't do Bir Chomet on the guy's Picodon, the guy's option which gave for safekeeping to you. Lo Bir Ma, Lachar Pesach, Ma, Rabbi Yerna Mar Mutter, Rabbi Yerna says Mutter. It does become Mas Bano. Rabbi Yerna Mar Os, Rabbi Yerna says it's Os Bano. Like any other Chomet travel on Pesach. Says the Gemara, okay? Amar uh, Rabbi. Amar um, should be the 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 gulin hashatz here changes. Am um, Rabbi Yoyna. Rabbi Yoyna said it's permissible. He said, you know why? Chametzo shel akum who? It's the case the case the case where it's the chametz of the goy. Yisrael shall have a level of biaro. Yisrael is the one who true true transgressed and didn't eradicate it. But the ma'ase it does become aser bano. Why does it become aser bano? Why does it have to be a mavar? Because it was chametz of a goy. It's a very interesting distinction. You say the chametz of a guy after Pesach is permissible, even if he wandered through house with it and left the body, so he should have eradicated it. How can you eradicate? You, you're keeping it for 
for safekeeping, he gave it to you. So. You've estimated its value, keep the money instead. In safekeeping. So again, Rabbi Yona, I'm Rabbi Yona. The reason why I said this second last line, Chatzel Chametz Shlakovu, Yisrael Shavar Lov Lo Biaro, the Chametz of the Goy, Yisrael didn't eradicate it. So in that case, the uh, 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 after pace of it still mutter because. Um, um, I'm not sure if this is the rice of the rap order. I'm not sure if this is the rice of the rap order. Now would you say that the chametz which the Israel is Generally speaking, overload means that it's a rice. But I guess you're right. I don't see how it could work, the rice. So, rice, you actually give Malchus at least. You don't do anything to him. In other words, the throw is harboring a goy who had chametz in his hand. It says here we don't do anything to the Israel, right? The Shire says Chomit will have to pay this Chomit and pay the Mutra also by not. So it's Machlok, it's Rabbi Yoyna and Rabbi, uh, Rabbi Yoyna. So say Rabbi Yoyna says that it's Mutter because even though the Jew transgressed this by having to go in his house, so it's not clear what it's her. He transgressed this, but that doesn't make the Chomit also by not. Because ultimately the Chomit still belongs to the guy. Maybe the Oyster is Maris, I know. So it says, well, Who's the Tano who learns from Lo that uh, that uh, that it's also even after Pesach? Now the Mashbiel says the typo here is not the right pasuk, which means another pasuk, which we're going to learn later in the Gemara. But it's not your main right now. So that's so my Rabbi Yuda. Let's go ahead, Rabbi Yuda. The Tano we learned somebody who eats from six hours and beyond. So the chomish is on her pesach. He eats, uh, he eats, um, chomish after the sixth hour. The chomish shavar pesach chomish after pesach. How rabbi said below sase? Transgress the negative commandment. The ain about kores. There is no kores. If Rabbi Yudah, Shimon Amir Keshe Keshe Amir kores. If there's no kores, there's no low sase. Koshe Makaris ain't below uh below Sase. So it's a really a kasha. How can Rabbi Shimon hold in our case that there's no that there's no kares if there's a low sase by the guy who let a guy into his house wearing chametz, uh using uh, holding chametz. So it says more mode Rabbi Shimon but also shu oser. Oh, here is actually, I forgot, the Chukmar already asked the question. The Shimon agrees that it's Nisa Doraisa, that um, to have the, uh, to have the, 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 the Chomets in your house, even if you don't get Kores. Says, my Sura Mao, what's the answer? He said, Rabbi Yemi, my Sura Dive Torah, it's Nisa Doraisa. Rabbi Yemi, Amar, Rabbi Yemi, it's Nisa Doraisa, Rabbi Yemi, Sura Dive Torah, it's Nisa Doraisa. My time is Rabbi Yuda. What's the answer, Rabbi Yuda? It says, Lo Yechel Chomets Tayo. It says, Lo Yechel Chomets Tayo. Monica, what are we talking about? Im soch moy if it's ready on you. The clock see it says lo socha love chametz. Do not eat chametz upon the korban pesach. And then we need your besocha boy. You can't talk away on during the yontif. No, even during the time of korban pesach. We're not going to achar moy. After yontif, if you have chametz left over, it's also because of chametz shor for love of pesach, right? Says Gemara, Mama Kam Shimon, time of Rabbi Yudah. What does Rabbi Shimon do this pasuk of Rabbi Yudah, which says the Chel Chametz Hayom, which is superfluous and must be going on Motzai Pesa and teach us to the rice of the whole year? Says Gemara, Nah. He says we use the Josh and the Yisrael together. Amar Rabun, Rabun said, Ab Barchia Patla Rabbi Yisrael Gli. What's the pasuk for Drush? The Rabbi Yisrael Gli, Tai Rabbi Yisrael Gli Omer. Ani, Omer Ani, I say, Shloya Pesam Mitzrayim, there's no Pesam Mitzrayim, El Yoyim El Chod Bilvan. Only one day out of the seven was Pesach, not all seven. Shnamat says, Lo Yeho Eh, Lo Yechel Chometz Hayom, 
But the emphasis on the word Ayom is only one day, not more than that. Okay, Rabbi Isai. I didn't get any friends from parents, so that was not. That's not Issa to Raisa. Ramir says Issa to Raisa to possess Chomets after Pesach. The other rabbis say it's Issa to Rabbana to possess Chomets after Pesach. We pass on like the other rabbi, it's only Issa to Rabbana, not Issa to Raisa. Okay? We'll stop here. What can I tell you? Yeah. Yeah, but once there's a hat, there's a hat. That's a, that's a big Carte blanche. Sure. So.